He looks after the school. Tell people what to do. He like, it's like somebody's naughty and they didn't go to Odyssey, they go to the principal. Sleep. Watch for naughty kids. Watch TV and play video games. Drink some coffee and tea. Do work. Um, help us. Look after us. Work. Um, eats fish and chips and pretends he does work. Does a lot of hard work and sometimes he walks around and actually gives me high fives. Like, he's like that. He said, give me a high five. And then, he he gone back to his office and did a, a ton more work. Um, he probably just drinks coffee, eats chips, and pretends to do legal documents. I wouldn't be the principal. I would make my school about learning. I would do whatever I want. Eat ice cream all day. I will help people. My kids do lots and lots and lots of work, but no spelling. I would stop. I would cut spelling from the school curriculum. Spelling sucks. I would hold a lot of donations for causes that need help, and I would take care of the school. I made a very good art program. I would make a cooking program for the junior kids. I would make sure the kids have a good time and have lots of fun and make sure they're feeling okay. maybe like, I don't know, like, like, like an art studio but for all kids to do at any time. So you can just go in there if I was a principal, I would do the exact thing that Mr. Curtis does, looking after and thinking about everyone else. Have the school have an extra long weekend every weekend. I would I would give kids special treats. Like cupcakes. Cake. I would even get some chocolate spread outs. A whole bag of them. I would um, just do anything I would not like, or, like drink um, anything, can eat anything. No more homework. Not let people have homework. <laughs> I think I would upgrade the toilets to just because, you know, the hand dryers are a bit loud, so I would make them quieter but a bit more powerful so that they get drier quicker. I would just say to other people, make your own rules! Because that's fun. And making their own rules, that means that this school is better, a, play, a better place. If I was a principal, I'd be nice to the children and say, you can do whatever you want for the whole day. Um, a water slide? I really don't know. School's just it's great the way it is. Make second break longer. We should have more playgrounds. Um, maybe like a bigger library? Well, big build, big buildings and make a play center or something like that. Cut spelling from the curriculum. I hate spelling. <laughs> Make an art program, a very good one that has lots of art. <laughs> or, um, some more classrooms where we can have more friends. Stay calm. Nothing is perfect. I don't really know. He's a really good principal. 
I don't know why I'm supposed to stick out of this because he just needs to be the person that he is and he's perfect the way he is. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do the floor switch, Curtis. So there's four easy steps. One is to go like that. One is to go like this. Sort of as fast as you want. That's how you do the course. Bye. Just be yourself. Just do what you have to do. Yeah, and most importantly, love the one with all your heart. Thank you, Mr. Curtis. You're cool. Thanks for giving me high fives, Mr. Curtis, when I see you. Bye. Thank you, Mr. Curtis. Thank you, Mr. Curtis. Thank you, Mr. Curtis. You're the best. Thanks for being good. Thanks for all your love here, Jesus. Thank you, Mr. Curtis, for being a legend. Hey, Mr. Curtis, I'd just like to say thank you for all the support that you give me and take throughout this year, and thank you for all the hard decisions you've made throughout the COVID and beyond that as well. Yeah, and just being really approachable to us and just always open to help people out and throughout all the years at school we've had here. It's really appreciated. Thanks, Thanks, Mr. Curtis. Curtis.